chaps and welcome back to Tino Park here. So today we're going to be doing the most requested videos from you guys. Let's open up the bag boy. My mobile coach, Van Tour. Check it out. <laughs> I've tried to organize my van to become as efficient as possible so it saves me a lot of time in the process so let's get into it so we'll work on uh, what's closest to us so uh, here I have all my wheel brushes from rims to arches to tires and so I leave them hanging like this for a good reason the reason is as I finish washing the car I put them back and I let them drip I let them all the water just come down so as I'm washing the car, as I'm cleaning the inside, all the water goes all down. Next, we have the sprays on top. We have the quick detailer, the window spray, seat cleaner, polish and alcohol. And on this side, we have a degreaser, snow foam and this is an interior cleaner. Okay chaps, let's continue this tour. Behind me, we have the hose, it's a, it's a good 12 meters I believe, so it's more than enough to clean two cars, one in front of the other. The jet wash, nice and compact, the cone for safety, and behind them, the big boss himself, the Honda EU30 IS, the best generator for mobile vanity. And behind them, I have a water vacuum, an air blower, a small vacuum, a backup jet wash just in case anything happens to this one you always need a spare because if you don't have a spare you're going to end up losing a lot of money and then on top we have Henry the Hoover we have all our microfiber towels the buckets for washing all of the cars and here I keep all, all the cloths that are quite dirty I keep them so these are the cloths for the, for the doors and tires and these, this is for the bodywork so I don't, you shouldn't mix them all. And up here I have polish pads, a couple of extra stuff that I need, the drill, the seats, iron remover, trim restore and a lot more chaps. And then down here we have the body cloth, nice and soft the window cloth, the dashboard cloth, and the door and wheel cloth. Now let's make our way around the side, I'll show you what's inside. So here we have a couple of chemicals. The body chemical, body wood. This is for the wheels. And as you can see, I have access to my generator from this side. I have the shampoo, a couple of extra shampoos there. And here, this is where I make the money, my water tank. 250 liters, more than enough to clean from two cars to five, six cars. We start cleaning. As you can see, it comes on really nicely. This. This connects from the jet wash. The jet wash water. Here I have a spare hose. Up here we have an extension lead. And we have a couple more spare towels there. And sometimes can get a bit squashed up here so I like to use the front for extra storage so here I have a hose reel a couple of chemicals products and a few other bits and bobs also chaps I have a couple more stuff I haven't mentioned for example I have some of the chemicals down there real chemical tire shine tire gel brushes and here I have a rubber 
brush for you know pet hair to remove from the seats carpets here I have a little scrape here I have a, I have a funnel I use this funnel to fill up the, the generator so from here I take off the cap put this inside and on this side this is where I keep my extra fuel so I open this up fill it up and just like that you always have to be prepared sometimes you might have a customer that has no power you have to wash the car on the streets so you always have to have spare fuel just in case that happens so let's just close this up real quick and here we have a couple of extra stuff so this is a leveler so this generator it works best when it's straight so this bad boy, this leveler, will make sure they'll tell you if it's straight or not. So for example, can you see it's straight on this side? And normally, I like to measure on this side. So as you can see, it's not straight. So let me just put something underneath it. So normally I've got a hammer down here. I just pick it up. And as you can see, it's more, it's kind of straightish now. So this generator is not 100% straight sometimes it doesn't turn on sometimes it can turn off so it's to do with the oil leveling and stuff so it's always good to have one of these bad boys so here we have a couple more brushes metal polish a little scrub pad brush up here Tino air freshness so the concept behind this is not only does it smell amazing but when I wash a car, I always put this on the mirror in the, at the front. So as they're driving, they always see a, a Tino air freshener shaking around. So they always remember, look, I need to wash my car by Tino. Uh, in front of those, business cards. These are really important to uh, attract more customers. For example, if you're washing a car and somebody asks for a business card, you need to have them ready to hand out. Also, chaps, you always need to have a, a rubbish bag because we're cleaning cars. There's, there's always going to be rubbish in the car, so you just leave a little plastic bag here. And then, as you can see, I put a hook here, and I put the plastic bag. So I, I like to use hooks to, for a lot of stuff, you know, brushes. Mostly for the brushes, as they they work a treat. So, chaps, my setup hasn't always looked like this. At the beginning, for a good a year or so it had nothing it was just i just had a couple of uh, jet washes generator and every time after each wash i'll just fold them back in and it, it was just like a disaster it was just so messy inefficient but over time i uh, decided to fix things up so i got my uncle he's the best carpenter in london and he fixed all of the shelving you see they're all made of wood and also he fitted the electric sockets so whenever I need to plug anything in this connects to the ge uh, generator behind there so that's a lifesaver as well okay chaps I'm gonna show you this setup in action and how it's used okay so the very first step I take I take the level up and I measure to see if it's straight as you can see it that's it straight so once I'm happy with that Go around the side, I take out the chemicals because they're blocking access to the generator, and I turn it on. So, chaps, the generator you have to leave for, for five minutes because uh, it's recommended to, to warm up to work perfectly. So, in the meantime, take out my buckets and I fill them up so I fill them up and I put shampoo in only put a bit of water as you don't need too much and you'll be using the gel wash to form it up when it's time so next 
put up the snow from cannon and this is for the snow from cannon so, again, so like I said before all you need is a little bit and this ladder is ready to go now that I've finished using the tap I can connect the jet wash to my water tank so you plug it in it's a quick connect so nice and easy then now it's on so now the generator has been on for a couple of good minutes so now it's on efficient mode so with this efficient mode it's not strong enough to power the, the jet wash it needs to be turned on a, a bit higher just so it has more power so let's turn that on now listen to how much more noise it makes once i turn off the efficient mode Well, it's not going to make you deaf. This, this generator is probably the most quiet generator on the market, so I highly recommend this generator. I leave that for another minute, it's higher mode. And now I start reaching out my uh, jet wash. So, this, this is my main uh, jet gun. So, I'll show you just how far I can go with this. Chaps. So this is the main jet wash gun that I use and it's the perfect size. I've seen some that are a lot longer but it's not, it's not ideal. So I, I also have one for connecting it to the snowfall. I also, I also have one for, uh, for tight spaces. I'm going to show you how I, I use them both. Now we turn on the jet wash. As you can see, this generator can handle this, no problem. So you have to wait until the water is fully uh, fed to the jet wash. So after a couple of seconds, you're good to go. So once it's up and running, I fill up the bucket. But as you can see, it foams up a lot. So when I wash a car, I don't like being cheap. I like putting a lot of shampoo in there and making it foam as much as possible. The more foam, the safer for the car, as you can or lubricate as you're washing it. So guys, I recently upgraded to the hose reel, as I, I had a cutcher at the beginning, but it was, it was a real struggle trying to, to fold up the hose. So this bad boy, I'll show you how easy it is to put it back in place. So I put this like this. And I just spin it. Just like that, just after five seconds, it's inside. So I highly recommend this hose wheel. Chops. For me, safety is number one. You always have to be safe in the job. No matter what car you're doing, or Bugatti, Golf, safety is number one. So that's why I have this bad boy. I see some people with cones up to do, and it's, it's not safe enough. This, every time I wash a car, say for example, this is my customer's car. I always put it in the middle of the car, so people go past, they go around. They don't come into me, but they go around. And also, it allows me to, to open the door. And also, it gives me the space for safety, as they won't come driving into me. The reason you leave it this far is if anybody does hit the, your cone, when it falls down, it won't hit the car. It'll just, it'll just stay there. Believe me, it does happen. Easy one. But once it's time to go inside, I'll bring my Hoover outside. And I just 
Go get in. And just like that, it's ready to go. Also, I wanted to mention, you have to think long and hard about the position that you put your uh, generator in. For me, the best place to put it is like this, having the exhaust sticking out and also having it underneath the van. As I've seen some people, uh, they, they extend it, they pull it out and it's sticking out. For me, here in London, it's not possible because here, as you can see, uh, it's, it rains literally every day. So uh, you have to think, think long and hard. you'll be sitting driving and uh, believe me it's not good for the body okay chaps there's your van tour since a lot of you guys have requested this video i tried my best to make it happen so if there's any video any advice any help that you need let me know in the comments below and i'll try my best to reply back to you and make it happen okay chaps thanks for watching this video Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.